Hi, it's Joanne with ExpressionsVinyl.com and today we wanted to cover more about the weeding box in Cricut with Cricut Design Space. If you've never used a weeding box, it's amazing and a lifesaver. I hadn't heard about it until a little while ago. It is a lifesaver. So let's go over and I'll show you how to create one in Design Space. So you've got Design Space open. Go ahead and insert an image. Click on Insert Images. I'm just going to choose one of the free ones. Select free, and there's a camera that I want to use, and it's got the word click above it. So right there, insert that image. Go ahead, size it to how big you want it, a couple inches, however big your project is going to be. Now to add the weeding box, click on insert shapes and choose the square. We can always size that square differently. So go ahead and move it to the corner where you want to start and you see the word click is behind the box all you have to do to move it so you can see what you're working with click on arrange and move to back and that moves your rectangle right behind the click and go ahead and resize it and I want to do you see how you get to the bottom you're not getting the full thing I want to resize it to a rectangle there's two different ways we can do that there's a lock at the bottom left hand corner of that box so if you just unlock it then that changes how you size the rectangle. So you can do it any way you want. There's also over here in the edits on the top right hand corner, you can click the lock there. So once you've changed the rectangle to the size that you want it, get it fit exactly how you want the weeding box around, go ahead and size it. And then you can either select all, it, would, it selects your rectangle and the image, or you can grab and draw a box around the full thing and it selects both images. And then go over to layers and click on attach. And that just attaches your image to your rectangle. Now ready to go, click on go. And it'll show you how it's gonna be lined up on the mat. You see the weeding box around, the rectangle around the camera. And we're ready to go. So go ahead and click go and we're ready to cut. Okay, so now that it's cut, let's take it from the machine and just grab your weeding tool and start weeding. It's so easy. And the box, the weeding box will help for your alignment. It helps making, if you're doing a layered project, it helps align the different layers. Let's just press that down a little bit. Getting excited ahead of myself. So there you have it. There's the weeding box. And I've made a project over here. Another reason you can use the weeding box that comes in very handy is if you're not quite sure how to align it, you don't want it crooked on your project, use the weeding box the size that your project is. And once you've put your transfer tape on, just trim the edges like this. Just trim those down. Once you've got it trimmed down, your piece is the exact same size as your project and you're ready to go. So if you like this, um, if you've got any questions, comments, leave them below and leave us a thumbs up if you like it and stay tuned for more tips and tricks.